A group of business owners in the Metro East are working together to promote each other during the pandemic. And Fox 2's Patrick Clark shows us how the women-owned businesses have teamed up to keep things running. If two heads are better than one, then three or four can make a world of difference on one Metro East Main Street. That's the mindset of a few female-owned businesses who saw support as a ways to keep their doors open and keep giving people a place to kick back Wednesdays through Sundays with live music, all thanks to the women's collective group. It's really not about the girl power thing. It's more about we're all very similar and like-minded and we all want something good for our community and downtown Baba. And what we realize is that, you know, about 80% of the businesses downtown are owned and operated by women. I mean, we just talk to each other every day. How can we do this? How can we open? How can, what, you know, what, what is the rules? You know, because they were, it was very difficult to understand what the rules were from day to day. Call it the COVID-19 pandemic that forced these female-owned businesses in downtown Belleville to come up with creative ways to work together and help keep customers in tourism. We were like, how can we do this with other women business owners and how can we collaborate? Um, I'm a big, firm believer in collaborating. I'm, I, I think we're better, we're stronger together. I think a lot is going on and, you know, although the times are hard, and have been hard uh, for the last uh, two years. Uh, you know, no pl new places are opening, uh, new restaurants, and I think that's good. So, you know, people, I mean, people want to go out and want to enjoy themselves, so, yeah, we'll be here. <laughs> the group has added retail businesses and are using the upcoming Witches Brew Walk and Art on the Square in October to promote the different bars and restaurants and new lighting and streetscaping to entice people back down to Main Street. In Belleville, Illinois, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.